Yeah, man. Uh, I won't spoil anything. I won't talk that much about it because it's really good. It's also on Hulu. So All right. if, you have, if you have the platform, please go check it out. Um, I know they just got a bunch of new movies in, but go check it out. Uh, Solar Opposite and um, A Simple Favor. Nice. A Simple Favor. All right. I got uh, just one this week I watched a lot of stuff but I'll just I'll wreck only uh, one thing um, it's it's called I Know This Much Is True it's a, it's a TV miniseries for HBO there's only one episode out right now and it stars Mark Ruffalo basically I think it's I want to say it takes place in the 80s um, and it stars Mark from brother? yeah Mark um, basically he has he plays himself twice and um this the story is about um identical twins like middle-aged and one of them uh suffers from uh he's a paranoid schizophrenic and like a kind of like a religious uh kind of like a religious uh nut and it's about his uh, like he his brother's trying to take care of him while trying to juggle his life and basically and you know, it's just been... The first episode is about an hour long, so it's very kind of still mysterious where they're going with everything, but definitely a darker tone, and it's awesome to see um, Mark do something that's not Bruce Banner after all these years, you know? I know he did have uh, Dark Water um, last year, I think it was. It was a serious role that he did, but it's it's cool to see him have kind of a return to form to this. He's really good in it so far, so... This much is true. Have you have you have you seen Mark Ruffalo in the movie um, XXXY? No, but I know what I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, because I really really like it. that's that's where I first learned about Mark Ruffalo, and um, to see him progress into um, Bruce Banner, like the Hulk, is really cool. But I've always yeah. loved him for his more serious um, roles. So I'll, I'll have to check that out, man. Yeah, it's called uh, "I Know I This he's Much a really Is good actor. True." Okay. Yeah. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. And now for the movie focus of the week. All right, this week we're talking about Ornaris and Admiral Atlas's. Uh, Movie focus of the week, which is Tombstone. It's rated R. It's from 1993. It's two hours and seven minutes. It's considered a Western, obviously, and it's got a whopping 74 on Rotten. It's directed by George P. Cosmatos, and uh, it stars Kurt Russell, Michael Bean, Powers Booth, Val Kilmer, Sam Elliott, Bill Paxton, Michael Rooker, Dana Delaney, Johanna Pecula, um... Who else am I missing? Billy Bob. Uh, yeah, Billy, Billy Bob, Bob Thornton. Thornton. Although the film isn't streaming right now, you can catch it on AMC's ba- basic cable network. It, uh, For some reason, it's playing pretty regularly on that station uh, right now. The synopsis, or the synopsis I wrote, goes something like this. Wyatt Earp, a retired lawman, decides to settle down with his current family and friends in a small Arizona town of Tombstone. Although after they arrive... The family soon has to come to terms with the notorious red sash wearing cowboy gang who continuously disrupts the townspeople. Either way, justice is coming. Dang. Oh, nice. <laughs> justice is coming. Sick. Although this film was well received on both its theatrical and home video release, it never got the proper recognition, most likely due to its holiday release date. But it has maintained its loyal cult following over the years with a cast that transcends the word ensemble and a soundtrack that is equally iconic. More often than not, when you think of the genre uh, western, Tombstone sits proudly at the top of that list, chiseling its own niche in pop culture history. Motherfucking shoot em up western, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so Vic, why, why, did you, well, why did you guys choose this movie? What, what, what do you hold this so dear to your Oh man! Heart? So uh, this movie. Well, first off, it's been it's been uh, probably like uh, I want to say like a year and a half since we had an actual movie focus where we chose. I want to mm-hmm. say, but I felt like this movie 
to both both of us. Um, this movie always reminds me of my grandpa and how he uh, is a Western yeah. guy. He always would. He's he's he collects guns. He's he's a he's hunter. really about that. But stuff, uh, dude. yeah, he, he collects a lot of Western memorabilia. Um, he collects um, a lot of uh, cowboy. Uh, anything that has to do with cow- the old west. Skin, deer so skin, watching all those animals. Yeah, watching this movie um, and watching it, you know, the other day and and now, it just always reminds me of uh, my grandpa and that type of uh, that type of just cowboy lifestyle. I feel like this movie just um, really captured not only the tr- the true events of it happening um, at the OK Corral and in uh, in Tombstone, Arizona, but it showed you like the versatility of like all of those actors just taking charge and, and really getting into those roles. I-, I feel like this movie is just timeless, dude. Like you can you can yeah. watch this movie and be entertained throughout the whole yeah, way. It's, I like it's, this movie. It's, it's a- very charismatic as well, dude. Like all the characters, mm-hmm. like you said, like the, the you could like. You kind of feel like biting their style a little bit, like when they speak and shit. Like, mm-hmm. it's very good. Yeah, it, it's it's a very good it's a very good timepiece that can also be used as like a historical like a uh, you know historical ac- accurate. You know the the way they shot the OK Corral was very accurate and, and uh, really um, executed well, and they 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 took a lot of uh, pride in their detail, but. I, I just I really like this movie because it's a fucking one of the rare shoot 'em up Western movies that I that I really like. Um, it's very sassy. It's very cosmopolitan, <laughs> if you ask me. It's very witty. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I just really love this movie, and it reminds me of uh, growing up uh, with my grandpa. Because uh, I mean, my dad wasn't around all that much, but my grandpa was my my father figure. So he would um, he was like a cowboy to me. You know, he had. The Magnum PI fucking big ass mustache. He would always wear the cowboy boots. He would ride he like down curly bill, and TJ dude. and shit. <laughs> yeah, he's hella curly bill. My, my grandpa's yeah, hella dude, curly no bill. Joke. So <laughs> yeah, it's just um, it holds a special place in my heart because uh, he he's the one who showed me that movie and uh, you know he showed it to me. I want to say when I was fairly young, he had it on VHS, but he really liked it because of. How historical, how historically accurate, you know, the, the, the Wyatt Earp was a real care, was a real person. Doc Holliday was a real person. Um, the Ike, the, 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 the Clanton and the McClary's were a real gang of yeah. cowboys. And he really, he really liked that. He would, uh, he would really dive deep into the cowboy culture. So it reminds me of that, dude. And it's, it's a, on top of that, it's a fucking dope ass movie, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was this, uh, you guys are all familiar with the movie, right? You guys, this was none of the first time you guys watched this? Oh, yeah. No. I've seen this movie like yeah. a thousand times. Awesome. I think, uh, I, 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 I <laughs> it's funny, there, there's a lot of slim, sim, uh, similarities with your story and how it reminds you of your, of your grandfather or grandpa, because that's exactly what it does with me, yeah. too. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I'll go over to their, my grandparents' house and I'll go put it on and he'll just sit down and start watching it with me. You know, like, like, uh, like, no matter yeah. what part of the movie it is, he knows. Oh, this is Tombstone, and uh, yeah. and the yeah. we, we were lucky, lucky enough. Uh, we went on a family trip. I think when I had just got out of high school, uh, me and my brother and uh, my grandma and grandpa, and we went to uh, Tombstone. So that was really cool. Yeah, I know. I know that they still. Uh, I know that they still uh, do historical like uh, reenactments. I would, uh, he would actually take us on little road trips and stuff. And the time that we went to the Grand Canyon, we went through, I don't, I don't want to say I'm going to have to confirm with him, but we went through a town where I remember being a kid and watching them sh- do like a shoot em up for like a good half hour, dude. Like, yeah. That's probably what it was. Story, a, a, whole, a whole story where they would come out and talk about it and give you tours and like mm-hmm. you ride a little mule yeah. and stuff. But that's really cool, man. It was cool seeing in the beginning of the movie when it shows them going into Tombstone. You see that graveyard that's right there. Um, I think it's called Boot Hill. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a real, it's a real one, right? A, yeah, you can go into the graveyard and, and like look at all the tombstones. It's it's crazy because it'll say like so and so died for um, died for um, two dollars or something over a bet <laughs> of two dollars. 
or and, and, and was shot four times or something like that. I mean, yeah. it's all, all there's the graves all over there are crazy. It's it's I don't know if they shot in I don't know where they shot it at, but it's it looks just like that. Like if you were to go there now, Very, it looks yeah. it, 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 like extremely similar. Very historical, yeah. accurate. It's crazy. What about you, Wes? Um, I've seen this a couple times, but not recently. I know my my grandparents are big fans of this movie. They had it on on VHS when uh, when I was growing up. Um, obviously, it's a crazy cast, and there's so many good like. What's um, amazing about this film is the quotability of all the most of the dialogue is insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so many li- one-liners you can repeat from this. <laughs> but yeah, um, overall, it was a great, uh, a great revisit. Um, I'm a big, f- I love uh, westerns, although a lot of them are a lot longer, so you have to be invested in them uh, a little yeah. bit more. <clears throat> But yeah, I think this one is is great. I, I agree with you guys that it's um, it is pretty like although I'm sure a lot of the dialogue and stuff was like kind of loosely done, you know what I mean. But as far yeah, as the, yeah. the 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 sets and the costumes and all of that was, um, I th- uh, I believe I read the director was super particular on getting all of that correctly. Um, down to the how yes. many how many times people were fired on and certain things like that. It was all broken down to uh, what was historically real, and you have to respect like determination when when that's uh, you know able to be pulled off. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I was gonna say, isn't it isn't it kind of funny how like all of our grandparents. I was, gonna, like, I was gonna bring it. It's gonna be like a, like a grandparents thing. They all because, brought it. To the- yeah, we're all like, oh, like I remember watching it with my grandparents. You know, or, like, that's something that's. It has to be a generational thing that it that you know they loved it or something. Yeah. Well, I think like this has a lot of the good-looking dudes like of that generation. You know, Val Kilmer, uh, Kurt Russell yeah. from the mm-hmm. you know Kurt was Russell. coming off the thing. Bill Paxton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. R.I.P. He's no longer with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fields of McCoys. Check that. Check out that show. That was a good. Yeah, that's a great one. What about you, Diego? When was the first time you watched this movie, man? Uh, I think I watched it. Maybe I want to say 2006 was the first time I ever watched it. Uh, unfortunately, my grandpa wasn't really into westerns. My grandpa was more into the B. I want to see even see side of uh, Mexican cinema with all those westerns. So okay, so, so I got to grow up with that with that side. But um, actually, I saw it because uh, I think me and my girlfriend at the time were watching Young Guns. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I had already seen Young Guns from like a while back. Like I saw it on HBO some uh, like way before. And That's another good one. That's another with good my, one. With my dad. And so, uh, so we, I saw this and then she's like, oh, you, you've never seen Tombstone? Like, no, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, it's this movie, like, it's like, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. It's like, it was made in 1993. Like, she told me everything about it. I was like, oh dude, let's go buy it. And that's when we went to go buy it at Suncoast. <laughs> and shout out to Suncoast, rest in peace. What's a um, Suncoast? <laughs> says my younger brother <laughs> hey Suncoast was like religion to me at that time bro I used hey, to live there literally was it the one movie. right here in, in Chula the Vista the one in Chula Vista yeah Chula yeah, Vista that one's sick dude yeah cause my ex used, had to, a used to work at um at the Macy's right there at the women's fragrances department so oh we would always like go to Suncoast and just like buy movies, like random movies and stuff. So, so it was like it was really entertaining to see this movie with her. And I have fond yeah. memories of seeing of seeing this, and we we're just like, oh, I was like, oh my god, like this movie's dope. And yeah, so it, I mean, I hadn't seen it in a minute, you know. So it was for me, it was like re- really reconnecting those dots and stuff with. Um, with this 
but it, it always brings back fun memories. I mean, I, I, I really, now hearing your guys' grandpa stories, I'm